On Friday, November 4th, the Cedar Grove Panthers would attempt to reach back-to-back -back sectional finals, facing off against top-seeded Wood Ridge on the road. The Panthers won the coin toss and deferred to the second half. Babcock. On their first offensive play of the game, the Woodridge quarterback completed a short pass to their tight end in the flat that was good for 15 yards and a first down. The Panthers' defense tightened up and forced Woodridge to punt after three plays. On the Panthers' first offensive possession, they were able to move the ball down the field with short passes. But the drive eventually stalled. After completions to senior wide receivers Edmund Dakar and Christopher Babcock, the Woodbridge defense held and Cedar Grove got on the board with a field goal by Babcock. The Panthers' stout defense held Woodbridge again, getting the ball back to the Cedar Grove offense. Quarterback Steven Paradiso hit wide receiver Nick Iannacone for two consecutive first down completions, setting up a long completion from Paradiso to wide receiver Jackson Mills. And number nine, Paradiso makes the pass and is intended for number one and it is, it is complete. Woodridge's defense came up with a four play defensive stand and got the ball back on downs. The score remained 3 0 Cedar Grove. Following a Woodridge punt, Cedar Grove got the ball back. Paradiso found Dakar on a screen pass, setting up A.J. Soriano's touchdown ball, which gave the Panthers a 10 0 lead. A few drives later, Nick Iannacone would intercept a Woodridge pass at around midfield. But Cedar Grove could not cash in. The score remained 10 0 heading into halftime. Kick return! Cedar Grove received the opening kick of the second half, but Woodridge's defense forced a three and out and the Panthers punted it away. On Woodridge's opening drive in the second half, they were able to move the ball down the field using a series of short passes. The drive resulted in a field goal and the score was now a 10 to three Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove's offense would have a long drive of its own featuring multiple long runs by Dakar. A Dakar touchdown run was called back due to a holding penalty, and the drive eventually stalled with Cedar Grove not getting any points.
On the third play of the Blue Devils' next drive, a broken tackle led to an 80-yard pass play, taking the ball down to the Panthers' two-yard line. The Cedar Grove defense kept Woodridge out of the end zone on the first three plays. But on fourth down, the Woodridge quarterback found the tight end in the back of the end zone, completing a pass and tying the game at 10. On the next drive, the Woodridge defense forced the Panthers to go three and out. While Woodridge was driving to take the lead, it appeared that they would try to run the clock down and kick a field goal. But on third down, Woodridge's quarterback threw a pass that resulted in a clutch interception by back. On the third play of the drive, Paradiso delivered a 68-yard strike to Dakar that sent the Cedar Grove faithful into a frenzy and gave the Panthers a 17-10 lead. Woodridge still had 42 seconds to try to come back and tie the game. But seniors James Canarelli and Denim Ingles came up with two huge plays leading to Dakar's game ceiling interception, vaulting the Panthers to their third straight sectional championship game. Stop, stop, finish. Four, five, three, one, two, three, go! go. 